What up everybody, Jason Clean Scales, A Sports Scribe, bang, you see the site, and you see the park, Nassau's Park. I'm back here after uh, a quick visit in October, just kind of touring around it now, we're actually going to take in the game. My new other co-defendants are behind me, you'll be seeing them throughout the video, uh, you've seen them before in Pittsburgh, you've seen them in Philly, so it should be a lot of fun. Anyhow, you know what, there's going to be not as many pictures, you've already seen some of the pictures, but uh, you'll see this park all over the place, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, I'll see you guys. So we got here a little bit before the game starting, and um, we we're hoping to do BP. We probably got here a little bit late, but here too, the presents we'll be seeing later on. It's George and Abe in the house. Oh Hi! Hello! Yo, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Yeah, here come a whole lot of people. We'll see the cherry blossoms and all that jazz. It should be pretty cool. So I set up with my other co-defendants over here. Jamal, Andre, Aaron, Kwame. They'll say what up throughout this. Because the team is still fledgling, to say the least, they're trying to do a whole lot of fan-oriented uh, events before the game. Little trick, it's little things to sort of enjoy. Three game bands. Terry Blossom's coming out. Quincy Central Washington, I guess. As you see through this park, and as you probably saw in the uh, pictures I put up in October, the designs of the stadium, pretty much the folks who designed the same stadiums in Pittsburgh and in Philadelphia, they're trying to give this a little bit of a real local feel. It looks like a lot of the monuments. So, I'll give you some of the nook and crannies in this place, obviously. It's all about Teddy, man. Thanks. Say no more. Teddy ain't got no money. <laughs> Teddy got a win, man. Came all the way to New York to see this man do his thing. All this woman in the man's costume. It gives you an idea of what's going on. 
And that screen looks great. It's really nice. You know, I've certainly had a, a better opportunity here than any other place I've been to to take in the park before the game begins. Usually, we're just so ready to go to the game and not think about BP, not really think about touring the place so much at the beginning as we might consider doing so during the game. This has been very cool that I've been able to see everything inside right before we sat down for the action. Now, where we're sitting in particular, we're actually sitting in over here, those red seats. It's the red porch. We got uh, the tickets we have, it's like there is an extra $20 credit on top of it, and we can pretty much get whatever we want towards either the food or concessions. So it should be pretty cool. And maybe Adam Dunn hits one out there, we don't know. Maybe we can run to that grass right there and fight for one. We don't know what's going to happen. We hope the best, but we don't know. The team themselves, today they're rocking their red alternates. I'm trying to cop that traditional road jersey I love so much. He took a little bit of the look of the Senators and just put Washington script. I love it. I absolutely love it. The field is great. You probably can make out the uh, curly W logo in the middle of center field. Sidelines look pretty good. Every single seat looks appears it's pointed towards home plate. I like this park a lot. I really do. So as all sports do, all professional teams, the Nationals are really taking on, it's fashioning themselves as family-oriented entertainment here in the, in the Capital District. So, where I'm at right now, they have Elder Bear. Wow. PlayStation Spot. They have uh, pretty much Bat and Cage, and pictures and such. I saw Playground for the Kids. And this is the Family Picnic Area. Duh, you see the title. Where you know there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of tables and just people just kind of sitting back enjoying the company. Grab just walk over to the concession, still watch the game, and that's important. You know, it's one thing to step away, but you don't want to miss the action. You want to be able to say you, you just saw the home run or you just saw the great strikeout. This is very very nice. It's very simple. It's not not too too many histrionics here, not too many things going on, but. It's a nice touch. A nice touch to a, uh, a team that's still trying to find an identity, to a, uh, a sport still trying to get its foothold here. You gotta like it. You know, these days, it's not enough to just be at the game. There's so much more. And even though you can probably do some of these things at home, if you're a little upset that Christian Guzman just struck out, you can go ahead and change the outcome coming here to the PlayStation Pavilion. They have all sorts of games. Gran Turismo 5 is in here. Actually, the new MLB uh, 2009 game from 2K is, is out as well. 